Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll talk about some amazing kitchen habits which will keep your kitchen clean and hygienic. Some of you already must be following these habits. These are not something unknown, but these are daily cleaning habits which I follow with all discipline. These will save a lot of your time and keep your kitchen paste-free, hygienic and sparking clean. So let's get started. Keep your utensils at the designated place once it is dried. Arrange the utensils and keep everything in a designated place to stop piling over the utensils at the countertop. One of the simple habit to keep your kitchen clutter free and the countertop looks really beautiful with this. Place a tissue paper or non-stickable cloth or a coaster below the oil bottle or jar. It will absorb the extra oil which comes out from it in every time we use and keep the area clean. You can use any coaster to keep your oil bottle or jar but also make sure not to keep it on the floor. It will leave a stain on the floor which will be hard to clean later. While chopping or peeling your veggies, keep a bin or plates aside and start collecting the waste directly in it. It will keep your countertop clean and saves a lot of time. Clean your chopping board and knives after use. Bits of food left on a chopping board will soon breed bacteria. So scrubbing down your board immediately after use is vital to stop them spreading. Quick, easy and essential cleaning chopping board is one of the most basic kitchen hygiene rule. Don't forget about that crumb tray. If your toaster has one, slide it out and shake off the crumbs and Turn the whole machine upside down and shake lightly if it doesn't have a removal tray. Wash and dry the tray before putting it back to get rid of any cake on food. Quickly clean up any dishes, placemats etc. After you finish each meal will only take a few minutes but your kitchen will always be clean and ready for the next meal. And when you do these quick cleanups consistently, your final cleanup at the end of the day will be quicker and easier. Keep the spatula in a plate or stand while cooking. This will help you to prevent stain on the countertop of the stove and also will save lot of time afterwards and the burner gets easily cleaned. Just give a wipe to oil jars, bottles, spice corner and freeze handle a clean wipe. Many times it might stain with food. Quick wipe will keep your kitchen stain free and reduces your deep cleaning effort later. Put a paper or dried cloth below the chakla while making chapatis. It will help you in a multiple ways. Like chakla will not move while rolling chapatis and also the dried floor will be collected in a cloth which will help in cleaning later. Keep back the used boxes and jar in the assigned place right after the use. It prevents unnecessary clutter on the countertop. Clean your chimney top once a week. It's always a great idea to give a wipe the outside of the chimney if it is washable like mine to prevent the dust clutting and also it will look beautiful. It will keep you dust free and also saves a lot of time afterwards. Take out the freeze for leftover before any meal. Sometimes we just forget the food inside the freeze and the food get wasted. It's a great way to reduce clutter in your kitchen, saves money and avoid wasting food. It's better to wash the dishes and clean up the kitchen every night, even when you're tired and don't feel like it. You won't feel like doing today's dishes anymore tomorrow morning. Do the dishes each night and you will never have to wake up to a sink full of dirty, dried on and gross dishes in the morning. It took a while for me to do this consistently but now I see what an important habit it is to keep your kitchen clean and make your life easier. If your house helps comes in the morning 
then wash the utensils properly with the water and take out all that extra food before keeping it inside the sink. Wash the blender jar immediately after use. It will save a lot of time and it will prevent the food residue to accumulate on the blade which will be very difficult to clean and might damage the blade to function properly. Cleaning out the microwave plate regularly will help to remove food residue and prevent from bacteria to grow and keep the microwave clean. It also helps you to ready for the next time use and which will save a lot of time. Clean your sponge kitchen cleaning cloths. Dirty damp cloths are the perfect place for the bacteria to breed. So it's very important to wash the kitchen cloths and sponges regularly and leave them to dry before using them again. Ideally, try to keep a different cloths for different jobs. For example, use one cloth to wipe worktop and another one to wash dishes. This helps to stop bacteria spreading. Scrub your sink daily. Your sink is used regularly throughout the day, so it will become greeny and covered in bacteria quickly if it's not kept clean. Again, this is one of those kitchen hygiene rules that doesn't take much time but that is well worth doing. Just give your sink a quick scrub with a scrubber and a spritz of kitchen cleaner once in a day. Wipe up any pooled water or spillage around the sink with the kitchen towel to keep it hygienic. Wiping down the kitchen countertop after every use is one of the easiest and most essential basic kitchen hygiene rule. You will not only be keeping things clean and tidy, you will also be stopping the spread of bacteria too. Very important to clean the burner or stove top after use. It will save drying out of the food and any stain and stops the bacteria to grow. Your kitchen will look clean and clutter free for later use. Wiping out all the nearby cooking area like wall or the corner to, to take out the oil which was spilled during the cooking. This way the wall and the area will prevent to form any insect and bacteria and it will look tidy and clean. Regularly changing your bin is a key aspect of kitchen hygiene. Old food in a bin will soon decompose and bacteria will start to form. So take out your rubbish out on daily basis to avoid any funny smells. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more such helpful videos. I will see you all in my next video. Until then, bye bye.